Most of us have heard about problems bees are having. We are losing millions of bees every year. Nicotine-based pesticides help insects from killing fruits and vegetables, which is why Open Source Beehives, a Denver bee-loving group, is now launching a global science project designed to help save the declining bee populations. We need to get more beekeepers, more people keeping bees. When you become a beekeeper, you become aware of the plants and the trees that are flowering because this is what feeds your bees. 30% of hives have been lost nationwide. 25% of our diet depends on bee pollination. $200 billion worth of crops are at stake, which is why Open Source is trying to increase hives. As many stores stop selling nicotine pesticides, which are said to be the number one hive killer. And they open a hive and there's a queen there and there's nurse bees, but there's no foraging bees. And so there's never food brought back to the hive. So the hive starves. By going organic, you're helping out on all the living creatures from us all the way down to insects. Some are hoping open source beehives made with 3D printers out of plywood can help put beehives into yards. This beehive is made out of mainly a pine wood frame like this and plastic. You can use almost any material, but beekeepers caution using plywood and there's a good reason why. The plywood can absorb diseases and stuff that maybe the hive had. While well, the folks from open source say designs are only printed on plywood, beekeepers say other materials, like red cedar or pine, would be a better choice. In Thornton, John Bowman, Fox 31 Denver.